Hi guys, this is Ify and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a yummy Nigerian fish sauce recipe with a teeny weeny twist to it. This fish sauce recipe is so popular and everyone loves it. In fact, I'm yet to see any Nigerian who isn't crazy about it. Apart from it being delicious, one thing I love about it is its versatility. You can pair it with pretty much anything. Yam, rice, beans, potatoes, spaghetti, anything you can think of. If you love watching my videos, be sure to give me a thumbs up, click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so each time I upload a new video, you'll be the first person to know about it. Without further ado, let me introduce you to the ingredient and then we can dive right into it. Using mackerel, also known as titus, for this recipe. However, feel free to use any fish of your choice. Here's my pepper mix. It includes tomatoes, tatashe, and scotch bonnet peppers. I'll be using onions, thyme, curry powder, vegetable oil, seasoning powder, some salt, garlic, and bell peppers. Don't worry, I'll drop a list of ingredients in the description box so you too can make this. Now, the first step is to cut my mackerel. You can cut your fish into four or five pieces depending on the size of the fish. Now, put your fish in a clean pot as we're going to be cooking this fish. Add your curry powder, your thyme, your seasoning cube, you know, whatever seasoning you're going to be using to cook your fish, feel free to add all your seasonings now, all right? So add seasoning cubes to your taste or seasoning powder, whatever you have. Add some water, give everything a good mix, cover the pot and allow it to cook till the fish is well done. While the fish is cooking, cut up your tatashe, tomatoes, onions and peppers. I'm using a food processor because I don't want it finely blended, I want it coarsely blended. That's just how I prefer it for this fish sauce recipe, okay? If you prefer to blend yours really smooth, that's okay, it's you know all up to you. So once you're done, put it in a bowl and keep it away because we'll be using it in a little bit. Now, this is my little twist. I'm going to be adding bell peppers. Traditionally, when this recipe is made, bell peppers are not used. But because I want to give it, um, you know, more flavor and color, I decided to add some bell pepper. It's a really fantastic addition. I'll recommend that you add bell peppers as well. So, deceive your bell peppers and cut them into small bits. I like to, you know, um, dice mine not too small not too big but it's all up to you you can cut it into whatever shape you like if you want to cut it into a julienne form i mean feel free and just do you so i'm just going to seed it and then dice them once i'm done i'm going to keep them for later use at this point my fish is fully cooked I cooked this fish for about 10 minutes, okay? So once your fish is done, take it out of the pot and put it in a bowl because we're going to be deboning this fish. In the meantime, make sure you reserve some of that delicious stock because we're going to be adding it to our sauce. Now, debone the fish. Guys, you really want to take your time to do this part because mackerel contains quite a bit of bones and you don't want to see any bones in your sauce, particularly if you have young kids all around you. So take up time and remove those bones, okay? And yes, I love to eat these fish bones. I find them very delicious and quite soft, you know. I think you should try them sometime. It's really, it's really nice. All right, so take your time, remove all the bones and then um, mash them into large chunks, not too small, not too big. Just uh, mash them into large chunks and set aside. It's time to make the sauce for the fish. In a clean pan, add some cooking oil and once the oil is hot, add your sliced onions 
and allow it to fry for about a minute or two all right after a minute or two add in your chopped garlic allow the onions and garlic cook for another minute this is to allow it to release the sweetness and you know flavor the oil once the one minute has passed add in your pepper mix the pepper mix that we blended crossly now is the time add it in and mix to combine mix the ginger the garlic the pepper mix you know this whole pan of flavor allow this to cook for a few more minutes and then you can now go in with your seasoning i'm adding some thyme and some curry powder stir well and allow it to cook for additional minutes till the pepper mix is no longer raw or sour once you achieve this level add in your fish stir well to combine and this is the point where i like to add a bit of my fish stock you know because i feel like the sauce is too thick so i just add a little to loosen it and this will also add so much flavor to my sauce if you don't care about this part by all means don't add the fish stock but again i recommend it okay give it a good taste to ensure that everything is well balanced if you need to add some salt some seasoning cubes feel free make sure you do so now now go in with your bell peppers and after you've added your bell peppers just know that it's a little more time left and it's time to eat yum Look at all those beautiful, beautiful colors. And that is why I love to add my bell peppers. Apart from it adding so much taste and flavor, it makes your food so colorful. And there you have it, a pan filled with yummy Nigerian fish sauce. Mm, it looks so good. See all the bright colors. This is the type that you eat with boiled white yam. Well, I'm going to mine with some boiled white yam and give me a second while I get Oh, there's the aroma. Hmm. It's out of this world. This is the most exciting time for me when I get to give my meal. Wait. Can't wait. Cheers, guys. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Mmm, 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 this is so good. This is a type that you eat on a Saturday morning and you go right back to bed for a few more hours of sleep. Mmm, bliss. So if you enjoyed this recipe as much as I enjoyed making it, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button, click the notification bell, and feel free to share this video with your friends and family. Till I come your way some other time, my name is Ify. Stay blessed and keep eating good food. Bye!